Good morning, GTS retail partners. Welcome to our Monday webinar series, uh, Retailers to Publisher Webinars. Uh, this is where you as a retailer get the chance to talk directly with one of our publishing partners. This week, uh, we've got Ken Hill with Rio Grande Games talking about some of their recent releases as well as an old favorite. But before we get uh, to Ken, I just want to make sure that everybody is familiar with with the process here. My name is Scott Boer. I'm your category manager for gaming specialty products, which includes role-playing games, miniatures games, and uh, gaming accessories, which is which would include dice, some play mats, and dice trays, those kinds of things. And uh, I'm standing in today for Scott Morris, guest hosting, as he has to uh, deal with some things that came up. He's fine, but uh, just standing in for him as he's not available today. So uh, I just wanna make sure that everybody is familiar with the Zoom process. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, you can, on your PC, you can, you can hover over the, the video window and that'll give you some options down at the bottom, uh, including the chat button. If you have a question for the, uh, for the presenters, you can go ahead and press that chat button. That'll open your chat screen on the right-hand side of your screen. And, and then in there, you can type in any messages that you have. You'll notice there's two options for who it goes to. There's the all panelists, which would, itself, which would include myself and Ken. And then uh, the other option is all panelists and attendees. And that way everyone would be able to see the video. So um, that's how that works. And uh, we're very pleased to have Rio Grande as a partner of ours with, at GTS. I know they've, uh, they've been an excellent partner for us. And uh, Ken is the... Um, Production Manager at Rio Grande Games. Today we're going to be talking about uh, a recent release in Nevada City and then an up, uh, not an upcoming, but a, an old favorite in the, in the Dominion Second Edition. Uh, and without further ado, I will hand the virtual microphone over to Ken and from, from Rio Grande Games. Hello, thanks, and uh, good morning, everybody. Oh, look at that. And I hope everybody's doing well this morning. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Hopefully everybody can see that. Scott, we all good there? Yes, all good. All right. Well, without further ado, we'll get started. <clears throat> so uh, just for a little recap, who is Rio Grande Games? Well, we've been publishing games in the, in, uh, the US for 21 years. Uh, we're into year 22 now. Um, I, I don't think it's a uh, a stretch to say that we were a pioneer in the worldwide publishing and distribution. Jay Tumbleson, who is the, uh, the founder of Rio Grande Games, was responsible for bringing Settlers of Catan to the United States market when he worked for Mayfair Games. He started Rio Grande Games to continue that tradition a few years after that. And we've continued to bring uh, not only the best of the U.S. games, but also the uh, the games from around the world. So games like Puerto Rico, Bonanza, Power Grid, uh, all of these titles that were foundational for the for the, the current and modern board game industry. Those were titles that were all brought over directly from uh, by by Rio Grande and our partner relationships for with uh, partners in the other other countries is still very strong today. Um, Underwater Cities, for example, is a partner with uh, Delicious Games out of the Czech Republic. Concordia is a partner of PD Verlag in Germany. So we will continue to do, continue to do that as well as bring us bring new uh, new titles over the years from U.S. designers and really designers from around the world. So. As I said, we have a long history of classic titles, Dominion, Race for the Galaxy, Roll for the Galaxy, Power Grid, Bonanza. These are all titles that you know. Um, and it, we are really unique these days in that we have a 100% commitment to distribution channel and retailers. Uh, we do no direct sales. You can't come to a Rio Grande, can't come to our website and buy a game direct. Um, we don't do Kickstarters and we don't believe in exclusives. So um, we, are, we are there for the retailers. We are there for people uh, who are, are in the business of selling games. And we are very, very strongly committed to the retail channel. And we, um, 
we want people to know and to the retailers to know that that is that it's our business model. It's been our model for 21 years, and we have no intention of changing that. So, if there's any questions or comments, you need information about our products or want to ask a question, you can contact our main customer service person is Scott at Rio Grande Games, and you're also welcome to uh, email me directly, Ken at RioGrandeGames.com. If you have a question, we'll answer it for you. If it's something we can't answer, we'll We'll figure it out. So without further ado, I want to talk about, uh, if I can press the right button. There we go. So here's some Q3 products that we'll just kind of go through real quick. Um, earlier this year, we released a card game title called Musical Chairs. Uh, it's a card game for uh, two to four players, great for families, musical theme. Uh, we've gotten a lot of good feedback on this one. A new train game called Golf Mobile in Ohio uh, from this from the same uh, designer and publishers as some of the the other rail games that have been done by Capstone recently. And we also have Nevada City, which is our new product just released this month. This is the game we're going to talk about here more in a minute. Uh, in July and August, we have a bunch of restocks coming for games that have not been available for a while. Race for the Galaxy, Jump Drive, and Roll for the Galaxy. Um, we've ordered these in uh, sufficient quantity to hopefully last us a while. We had a, uh, the popularity of the games recently, have, uh, especially Race for the Galaxy, uh, has been very strong. So we've had difficulty keeping that one in stock. Well, we have a big reorder coming, and hopefully that'll take care of that. Jump Drive has been out for a little while, so that's coming back as well and also Roll for the Galaxy. So these are some staple products that uh, will be coming back in um, during the next couple of months. We also have a new title called Blue Skies, which is a small game, uh, about a $39 price point. And that's a, 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 nice, a nice kind of an old school game uh, that I think we'll, you'll be hearing more about. And then in September, we have another rail game called Trans-Siberian Railroad that'll be coming out. And then we have uh, what I like to call a big space game, which we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about as, the, as we go along. So Scott, I can't see the chat. So if, any, if anything comes through in the chat, please feel free to interrupt and I'll try to answer it. Yes, certainly I will. I'll monitor the chat. Uh, there was one comment just about thank you for not doing Kickstarter. So your your stance on no Kickstarters and and uh, no direct sales is, I'm sure, greatly appreciated by the retailers. Yep, and that's something that we feel very strongly about: um, no Kickstarters and no direct sales. It's been, yeah, we will just not do Kickstarters ever. So Nevada City. Um, this is a game that I personally developed and worked on for about three years. The designer is Alan Ernstein. Um, it's a 90 to 150 minute play time. So this is, this is not a casual game. This is a medium heavy game, um, but it's very thematic. And if you, it's obviously set in the old West, Nevada city, California. Um, if you have people that enjoy games like blood rage and rising sun, all these games that are heavy into theme, well, this is the same uh, similar type of game, but it's set in the Old West. Uh, we don't have giant minis on the board. We don't think those are necessary. We think the game plays just fine with traditional, you know, cardboard bits, and it doesn't cost you know an arm and a leg to buy it either. So this is a very very strong theme about the Old West. Everything that you'd ever want to be able to do in the Old West, you can do in Nevada City. You have a homestead. Uh, you have a family. Uh, the names of the families in the in the in Nevada City are a little bit tongue in cheek. So you have the you have the cartwheels, which is obviously a take take off on the cart rights from the old Bonanza. We have John Wine instead of John Wayne. Uh, you know those kind of you know fun little uh, punny jokes that that everybody seems to enjoy, and it's got some really nice art and the presentation. I think that most people really uh, have. have reacted well to the cover. I think it looks great on the shelf. Um, the, the components are top notch. We really went, we really tried to do a nice job of this. Of course, presentation these days is much more important than it, than it used to be, but we also like to have, think we've got strong gameplay. 
we have a bunch of pictures up on our website that were, you know, that we had taken of the game. You can see the components. Uh, we we're really happy with the way this one turned out. So each each leader plays the um, uh, you're you're a, a leader of an old West family. So I mentioned the you know, you'd be Ben Cartwheel from from Bonanza. So you have four family members. You've got Ma and Pa and a son and a daughter, and that's the way you're. In each one of those, each one of those um, characters in the game has strengths and weaknesses that you can use during the game to help to help further your cause. What you're trying to do on your turn is not only build up your personal wealth, but build buildings in the town. And you're competing for contracts. You can become the sheriff. Again, heavily thematic, but you're trying to the typical you know game fashion. You're trying to earn victory points. You earn victory points by building buildings, completing contracts, there's some end game scoring. Um, you have the ability to hire additional workers and get more actions during the game if you want. Uh, if you hire a worker, you can add it to the, to the family at the end of the year uh, by, by paying some resources. So your worker pool and the amount of actions that you can take on future turns uh, increases. There's very thematic events uh, involved in the game. So, one of the comments that we've that we've seen from people is that you know people enjoy the you know the events are not always fun they're not always easy but they're very they're very typical of the old west there's fires and people have to be ready to deal with those um so the economy there's a economy me mechanism that's really interesting it mimics supply and demand each turn you're drawing cubes out of the bag to determine how many uh, how much of it each commodity is being produced and um, how those and then how much they're they're worth so obviously the more more are being produced the cheaper that they are from a from a, a base price perspective if there aren't as many being produced then the price goes up so it's really pretty uh, intuitive and people you know have taken really well to the to the uh, to the economic mechanisms it is a challenging game this is not something that you're gonna you're just gonna sit down and and play um, in a you know in an hour or so. We're not trying to you know we want people to understand this is a this is a bit of an experience. It's a little old little old school in that in that respect. But because each player has multiple actions on a turn, the turns go really fast, so that people are not sitting there and waiting you know five or ten minutes between actions. It, it, the game really moves along pretty well. Um, there's also an advanced game which adds <clears throat> additional mechanics, but also increases the amount of theme in the advanced game. You can have gunfights, uh, you can have gambling, you can have other things. That doesn't always appeal to everybody, so those are just optional rules, but it does make the game more uh, thematic and more like you know being in the Old West. Again, it's a high quality production. We make all of our games in Germany, uh, and this is a really nice product very happy to bring it out. And so far the reviews have been, been pretty positive. Uh, we've sent out probably close to 30 review copies and we're just starting to see the reviews uh, trickle in. Tantrum House uh, just posted a nice review online yesterday. Uh, gave it a very, very positive review. We also have uh, done our first ever trailer for a game for Nevada City. So we're starting to get more involved in doing some some more of the more modern uh, marketing trailers and, and some more information being released as it goes along. I'll take a breath. Is there any questions? One question that did come up was uh, whether or not Rio is part of the demo program with GTS. I'm not sure if, if you know that I've, I've messaged Scott and hopefully I'll hear back from him to, uh, to confirm it, but Ken, are you, do you know if Rio has agreed to be part of that program? Uh, I know we have, a, have our own demo program that's available. I don't know if we're involved in the GTS program, but that's something that we can we can certainly find out about. Uh, demo copies are available, and um, the best thing to do is to either to contact uh, Scott at RioGrandeGames.com and ask him about that. And then, of course, we can we can check with the uh, with whether it's they're involved in the uh, GTS program or not. Yeah, once we find I believe that out. we are, but I'm not the right person to answer that question. Okay, I'll find out um, either from Scott or, or internally. 
and then uh, other, other than that, there was just a, one comment from Julio saying that the art looks nice. And I agree. It looks fantastic. It looks like a great, fun game to have out on the table. Yeah, we have these little 3D, uh, these 3D ranch gates, which are kind of fun. Um, the, the card art, I think, is really nice. And we, the, the, I said this was a game that took us a, about a year to actually do all the art and, the produ and all the production on. So it, it, there's really a lot going on. Tons of buildings, tons of different events. Uh, and, and again, if, if people are, are enjoy those thematic games, this is one of the one of those games that that's really going to appeal to people who like like the old west. So. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, one other question that just came in is how many players are can play the game at the same time? It's two to four players. Uh, I would say that the game plays well at all player counts. There's adjustments, of course, to the gameplay. And the the boards are uh, modular is not maybe the right word, but you use the, there's a main center board which always stays the same, but the two end boards are double sided and you flip them over and use different versions of the end boards depending on whether or not you're playing with two, three, or four players, and also whether you're playing the advanced game or not. Uh, the advanced game adds additional buildings and things that that <clears throat> uh, will show up on the on the proper side. This is all explained in the rules. So it's, it's easy for people to, uh, you know, be able to, you know, get to the right, the right version that they want to play. We obviously recommend that they start off with the, with the standard game first and then and move on to the advanced game later. All right. So that's Nevada City available now. Check it out. And hopefully there's been some interest from the customers on that one. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I did check to make sure that we do have this in stock in our St. Louis warehouse, and then we've also got restocks on the way to some of the other warehouses. So we do have this available. Yeah, and uh, like I said, the we've been pretty happy with the response so far, and uh, if it keeps going, it's starting to build a little bit of momentum. And if it keeps going the way uh, it's going, we're we're probably gonna gonna have to reprint this one sooner rather than later, which is a good thing. So. Um, just want to let everybody know real quick that we did update upgrade our website uh, in the past few few months. Um, we now have um, our old website didn't really work well with mobile devices. The new one does. We've implemented this concept of a game family on our website. Um, unlike a lot of publishers these days that have you know eight to ten games, uh, we have over two hundred games in print at the moment. And during the lifetime of our publishing, we have published more than 370 games. So we have a lot of content and a lot of detail on our website for these games, rule books and reviews and all this kind of stuff. So we decided when we redid the website that we would group the major products together. So if you have a, a customer or you need more information about what's available for Dominion or what's available for Concordia or any of these other you know, major uh, game families would like to call them. You can go right to the right to the family pa page and see everything that's available and it's in print for each of these products. We also list the case quantities and UPCs for your convenience, and uh, we try to keep that information uh, up to date and as accurate as possible, especially for the the newer the newer games. We've also added the ability to post reviews and videos and a lot more content. And we're building that out over time. Uh, the new website just went live uh, about six weeks ago, and we're you're working on keeping that up to date. We also have tried to keep our uh, our we have a news portion of the website that that we're we're posting to more frequently, and of course we're on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Be sure to follow us on those on your favorite social media site. I try to keep a lot of information on. On there, and I do like I do post to the game industry forum on Facebook quite often. You can always find us there as well. Okay, one one question related to website and and sort of your upgraded marketing is whether or not um, you have a section of your website or available uh, links to digital assets that you that retailers could use for marketing as well. Uh, logos, game pictures, social media graphics, that kind of stuff. Uh, we don't have that yet. 
but there's a number of different things that are posted there. Like we have um, 3D boxes for most of the last, say, 40 to 50 games, all the Dominion expansions and all the major projects, there should be 3D boxes available. And if there's anything that you need in terms of logos and that, and that kind of thing, uh, we're trying to, again, we're trying to sort of build that up over time. If there's anything that, that is needed particularly, feel free to reach out and we'll get you whatever we need. Within reason, of course. Sounds great. All right. So another thing that we haven't done for quite a while is a newsletter, an email newsletter. We have not sent one of these out since 2015, but we just sent our first one out last month. Um, we're going to try to do this on a monthly basis going forward. And a uh, you know, typical thing, most companies do this product news and information. And if you haven't signed up, please do. Uh, you can go to our website. There's a there's a newsletter contact form on the uh, on the front page of the website. Just put in your email address, and you'll be you'll get all of our get all of our email updates. We also have um, if you're looking for more detailed product information, we have another mailing list that gives stock updates and other status. Uh, that is a separate list. You can contact me directly to be added to added to that one. But we're looking to build up our subscriber base, so stop by and and sign up for information about upcoming products. Okay, so I don't know if um, this may be a review for a lot of you, maybe new information to some, but we wanted to take a minute today to kind of go back and talk about Dominion. It's our flagship product, Dominion Second Edition. It's essentially the game that invented deck building as a genre. So you have a lot of customers now today that play Clank and Aeon's End and Ascension. All these games wouldn't exist today if it wasn't for Dominion itself. So um, I personally have been in it, had a lot of contact with people and it shocks me. We go to conventions, we demo, I go to game stores and talk to people and the number of people, especially younger people these days that have never played Dominion or don't know anything about it. Uh, it's kind of surprising because we just all assume that everybody knows what Dominion is, but that's not always the case. So when we go to conventions, we, we make a special emphasis to try to demo Dominion. And it's a really simple game to learn. There's lots of resources to help people play it. And um, again, the demo program is great for, for that. But we want to bring it to people's attention again, just as a reinforcer that um, you know Dominion is out there. And of course, during all of this uh, fun that we've had in 2020, we've seen a huge uptick in interest in, um, you know, the, the evergreen products, the Dominions and the uh, Race for the Galaxy, Roll for the Galaxy. There, we've been getting a lot of info, a lot of requests for those, and uh, the sales have been very strong. If you didn't know, it was Game of the Year in Germany, the Spiel des Jahres. It won in 2009. Um, and uh, if you have people that play magic or buy magic, I think there's a little bit of magic the gathering going on in stores. Uh, I hear that's quite popular these days. The designer was a, d a developer and designer for Magic the Gathering. So if you have MTG players who want a casual game to kind of sort of fill in the time or play with their you know, families or, or partners, this is an excellent game to recommend because it shares a lot of the same mechanics and principles as, as magic. Except that magic, you know, of course, you come into the game with a deck built, and while playing Dominion, you're building your deck during the game. So we wanted to reiterate that Dominion is out there. And just to review real quickly, each player starts with the same starting 10, uh, 10 cards in their hand. As you play cards in your hand every turn, you buy more cards. Some cards provide you with more actions. Some give you more money, which you need to buy more cards. And other cards give you victory points. It's a terrific game for couples and families. Um, it's a tremendous two-player game. And because of the way that the, the cards are configured, there's 25 cards in each large uh, Dominion base game. And the large expansions contain 25 more. Even the base game gives you millions of combinations that you can that that you can play just with that just with that 
20, the 25 cards are in the box. And there are 13 expansions for Dominion that are all in print and available. We also have um, base card sets that people can buy to, uh, to, to increase the number of players. If they want to play with five or six, you can, you can buy a set of base cards that'll, uh, that'll increase the numbers. We also have promos available. If you want promos, those are available directly from us. Um, you can get, you can order those through us directly. I don't know if you can order them through distributors or not. I apologize for not knowing that, but if you want to order promos, we're happy to provide them to you. Uh, we have a couple of rules with them. We, uh, we just like that you only hand out, you know, one per purchase and those are available directly from us. Again, you can email Scott at Rio Grande Games to inquire about getting promos. Uh, especially with a new interest these days, promo cards are always nice to have. There are 11 promos now, 11 or 12. There's a lot. So there's a wide variety of things that, that are available for Dominion. And Dominion obviously has a very loyal and um, large fan base. So the expansions, as new expansions come out, they have a big audience. We just re released Menagerie, which is the, the 13th expansion. It was released in April of this year. And the uh, demand for Menagerie has been really off the charts. We've been selling through quite a bit, and uh, we're bringing them bringing them over as fast as as fast as we can. Um, if you have people that say want to buy Dominion plus one expansion when they when they get into the game, I always recommend that they buy one of the early expansions: Seaside, Prosperity, or Intrigue. Each of those is are ones that add a, a real nice set of complexity to the game. Um, I usually recommend Prosperity if people enjoy a, a friendlier game. Seaside adds some nice new mechanics. Uh, Intrigue is adds to the player interaction. So if people want to interact more with the other players in the game, then Intrigue is a good choice. Uh, prosperity adds more money, makes the, makes the game a little more fun because, hey, who doesn't like more money, right? Uh, and Seaside adds some really nice mechanics, but all the expansions are are really terrific, and they're just, you know, it, we, Dominion is such a strong product, and that um, we hope that you recommend it to people that are that are looking for something to do during these that during these strange times. So that's about it. Scott, any questions on there? Yes, uh, there are a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, the questions are whether or not the retailer, whether or not the newsletter is intended for retailers or is it more for a general audience? My newsletter is more for a general audience. The one that Scott maintains is more of a stock update and gives more information about that. Um, I kind of assume that the retailers will want to know what's coming out and what's coming out from us too. So if you're a retailer and are interested in our products, I, I strongly suggest that you look at both. And if there's information in the, in the newsletter or things that we're not providing, I'm totally open to feedback. So um, we try to give information about the products that have been released recently and the ones that are coming soon. So if you're a retailer and want to know what's coming out, what people are going to be asking for, if you sign up for our newsletter, you'll, you'll have that information. And is the newsletter sign up link, is that on the website or is there a direct link to that? It, it's on the website. You just go to the website and uh, towards the bottom of the page, there's a, you know, enter your email, enter your email there and, and uh, you'll be added to the list. And then there are a couple of requests for me to put your email addresses that you've mentioned a couple of times in the chat window. Uh, would you be able to go back to the slide that has those and then I'll, I'll just also type them in? There you go. And just a reminder, uh, retailers, if you do have questions, go ahead and hover over the uh, window there and you'll get an option for a chat button down at the bottom. You can type in there any questions you might have and then uh, we'll be able to get those questions to Ken. And uh, otherwise, I don't see any questions right now. Okay. Did you get the email addresses, Scott? Sorry. I did, yeah. I put them in the chat window so that uh, people can get in touch with you guys directly. Okay, and real quickly, we'll open the kimono here a bit. Um, we do have some, some stuff coming later this year. We have uh, 
dice realms from Tom Lehman, which is going to be a tremendous, tremendous game. It's Dominion, but with customizable dice. That one we're real excited for. Uh, there'll be a new expansion for New Frontiers later this year. We have two big, I would call, it, would call them expert games. We have Beyond the Sun and Space Station Phoenix. Who doesn't love space games? Uh, Beyond the Sun is a game that I'm, I have personally worked on for, for uh, quite a while. This is a terrific game. I cannot wait for this thing to come out because I want to play the, the final version. It's big, luscious production. We're getting ready to, to announce that with a, well, for us, a, a giant marketing push. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of more information coming. Oh, well, one sec. <laughs> One a lot more information coming out about that soon. And we also have some more uh, interesting partner stuff coming out later this year. Uh, if you're familiar with Underwater Cities, the same designer uh, has another, another terrific game coming out probably towards the end of 2020 or early 2021 that people who enjoy those big, complex, heavy Euros are, are really going to enjoy. So we're, we're excited about that. So that's really all I have, have today. I appreciate everybody's time and attention and uh, feel free to contact us if you have additional comments or questions. Excellent. Ken, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here to do this. We really appreciate our partners uh, engaging with the retailers directly. They, oftentimes it brings up a lot of questions and, and things people hadn't thought of from the, the distribution or the production side. So there's great value in that. Uh, hopefully for your side and and for the retailers as well. Uh, retailers, if you do have any final questions, please feel free to pop those into the the retailer chat window. Um, just a reminder that that Rio is a partner of GTS. It's something that we've uh, a partner we've had for many many years and appreciated all their efforts. Uh, Nevada City is in stock with GTS, as are many of the expansions that are available for um, Dominion Second Edition. Some of them are are out of stock. Looks like we have some that are out of stock at Rio that we still have. So the last opportunity to grab a few of those and then uh, some others that uh, are new menagerie, we've got a, a small amount of, so probably doing restocks on those if that's available from the, from the manufacturer. And then uh, yeah, I don't see any additional questions. So I think, uh, I think that's it for today. Um, retailers, we wanna thank you so much for being here. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. We wanna return as much of that time back to you as possible. Uh, Ken, once again, thank you for being here. We appreciate it, and no um, hope the rest of hope the rest of your day goes really well. You guys have a great day, and uh, oh, there is a is this available as a video? This presentation will be available through YouTube once we have it edited and put up later today. So we'll be able to send out the link. Uh, I believe Scott normally posts those links on the Facebook groups, the various groups. But if you have a special request, you know, please feel free to email Scott directly at smorris at gtsdistribution.com, and then he can get you the link to it. Uh, oh, you just signed in. Okay, great. Yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that that link gets out to you, uh, Rob. Make sure you have that. So uh, thank you very much again for your time, and we'll take care of everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, Facebook group for GTS customers. Sorry, Derek. No, it's the, the Facebook group that normally gets posted to is the Gamma group and then also to the game industry group. And it looks like Ken has something else to add, so I'll I'll hand no, it back. No, no, I'm sorry. I was just I I, I just uh, no. I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, okay, great. That was a, a signal for someone else. Okay, <laughs> great. Thanks very much, everybody. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Uh, All right, thanks. Make sure that you you get everything you need. All right, take care. <laughs>